Hi, I'm Tyler Colt from Zanata Consulting, and this tutorial on the purchase process in Zoho Books was taken from our 2022 webinar. If you do find it useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below, and make sure to leave any questions or feedback in the comments section as well. Thanks and enjoy. Um, so again, purchases and sales, it's like, it's like two sides of a coin. Uh, it's gonna feel really similar. So just instead of a customer, I'll have a vendor. Instead of a sales order, I'll have a purchase order. And instead of an invoice, I'll have a bill. Um, so we'll walk through this, but we won't labor over it too much because I know that it will feel pretty similar. Um, again, don't forget, grab your screenshots of these flowcharts because they are very useful. Um, so I'll go ahead and create a purchase order here. We won't go into this in too much depth. Um, the only thing I will highlight that's a little different with a PO is that you can actually put the deliver to address as the address of a customer. So if you're drop shipping or maybe you're going to purchase a bunch of material and you just want it delivered on site and then you'll go and install it, um, you can actually tell the uh, you can tell Zoho to put a customer's address as the deliver to address on your PO. Um, that's something that some businesses are never going to touch. Um, but if you are in a space where you're either drop shipping or implementing a bunch of hardware at a location and you don't want to bring it there yourself, um, you can go ahead and just have them deliver straight to your customer. Um, similarly to our estimates and invoices, we can go ahead and assign a amount and an item that we want to order. You can put multiple orders onto one PO. That's totally fair game or multiple items, I should say. Um, and as you know, you should, right? If you're going to put in a PO to a vendor, let's maximize our shipping costs, right? And put as much as humanly possible onto one PO uh, as we send that out. Here, I'll go ahead and save this as a draft. Similar flow here, you're going to save it, you're going to send it, right? We're just going to mark it as issued because we don't have anyone real to send this to in our demo account. Once you have actually sent out the PO, um, again, similar to a sales order has an invoice and a package. A purchase order has a bill and a receive. So that receive is kind of like the physical arm of your purchasing process. Um, similarly, we're going to not focus too much on the receive. It works the same as the bill. Um, and it is just kind of exclusive to if you have Zoho inventory connected. Um, to go ahead and convert this to a bill, we'll use our big shiny button up here in the top right. That'll move us right along in the flow, copy over all those items. We can give this a bill number. Scroll on down. Here, there's nothing really fancy you got to do. You know, like sales orders, you might need to put in a little more info when you convert from an estimate. Invoices, you have to pick your payment options. But here, uh, we can just go ahead and roll it right over to a bill. And so now from our bill interface, really the last thing that we need to do is record that we have paid this, right? So this isn't, this isn't money we're receiving, this is money we're sending. So I can record that we made a payment to our vendor against this bill on this date. Um, I will quickly highlight um, on, in those online payments, if you do connect Forte, Forte can actually send the money from Zoho Books, right? So it'll connect to your bank, it'll actually process the ACH, It'll send that money directly over to your vendor. Um, but to kind of wrap it all up for purchases, again, very similar to your sales order. When you're working in a purchase order, you'll have those links out to your bills and your receives so that you have that primary record to represent everything that kind of went on with that particular purchase. And I think with that, we have covered really the core things that you'll want to know with purchasing. Again, there's always going to be a million more things under the hood once you jump in, but that is pretty much the flow that you'll be following uh, when you do go ahead and get started with Zoho Books. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did find it useful, please again be sure to like and subscribe down below. Uh, that really helps us out and it'll make sure that uh, YouTube shows you our videos in the future when we put out more tutorials just like this one. Um, if you do have any questions or feedback, uh, make sure to leave those in the comments as well. We really do appreciate that. Helps us get better and better. And uh, after all that, we will uh, see you on our next tutorial video.